Hello and welcome to Server Assist. Welcome to episode 5 of my limited CAD journey. In this weekly series I'll be sharing my results, purchases, sales, squad building updates and my profits and loss. So keep watching to see my results at the end of this video. Before all that, if you've just discovered the channel then welcome. If you're a returning visitor, it's good to see you again. On this channel you will find all the Sura tutorials, scouting, tips and tricks and of course this weekly series so make sure you subscribe by smashing that subscribe button and tap that notification bell to be the first to be alerted about any new videos. If you found this video useful then please give me the thumbs up by turning that like button below. If you haven't signed up to Sura yet then what are you waiting for? Get signed up using the link below to get a free limited card and 13 common cards. If you have any questions or thoughts about this video then drop them in the comments section below. Now that's out of the way, let's get stuck into the latest updates since the last episode. So let's get straight into the results from last week first of all, my SO5 results, just to see how I got on there then. So we'll start with game week 205, um, just looking at this then, so Champion America, I finished 172nd, Blanco had a bit of a quiet week, Hernandez did well, I was my captain. Wagner had a fantastic week with 79 and Nani and Potamis had quieter weeks as well. And But that did still get me reward. 172nd did get me a reward. Okay, it was a tier 3 reward and the reward I got was Chinonsa of Awe of Chicago. Now I know Chicago are in potential trouble in terms of um, being bottom of the table. But Ofo is young, he's only 21, and he's probably one that I'm going to keep. I've looked at his statistics, and per 90, his, his statistics are looking very impressive. He's not really getting many games in the team. He's only getting a few minutes, as you can see here. So he's not playing that very many minutes for Chicago at the minute. But he is making some sub-appearances, which is always a good sign for a youngster, potentially getting to the first team eventually. But when he is playing more minutes, as you can see, he's scoring some good scores. That was only one minute there, but these scores here, 90 minutes, he got 60. And in 77 minutes, he also got a score of 60. Just looking at his raw stats, he looks like an impressive player. So there's one that I'm going to actually keep. Now, I also finished 91st in the Global All-Star Division 5 with 352 points, which was absolutely fantastic. So Nessie had a quiet week, 36. Captain Bagus did fantastic with 91. Maximilla Morales also had a bit of a quiet week with 43. Atate did fantastic again, 83 points. And Guzan got 60 points, which was brilliant for a goalkeeper. So that was the team there. So there's a couple of low scores there, but I still managed to finish 91st and get 352 points. Now this won me, a, I think it was a tier two, if I remember rightly. But the, the prize was absolutely fantastic. And I'll show you who I've won now. That was Johnny Russell. As you can see from his last five, looks absolutely fantastic. But even his last four look very, very impressive as well. I've looked at his stats and he looks absolutely fantastic. He's seeing loads of the ball. He's doing loads of passes. Not just scoring. He's also creating chances. Seeing lots of the ball as well. So he looks like a fantastic player. And as you can see from his scores here fantastic option so we'll see where he slots into my teams and um, in terms of my so5 teams i'll give you an update on them shortly now let's move on to game week 206 then so in this game week it was a i didn't win any rewards in fact on this game week it's a bit of a of an appalling week really hall hauser in the division club lost our five out of poor week Bergwis had a quiet week for him, only 47. 44 for Lindell, 20 for Sassensi, which was surprising. Romo did fantastic with 70 points. I think that was mostly due to the number of saves that he made. I did mention that on a, on a previous video. He's, he's making a lot of saves for his team. Uh, Division 5, Champion Asia. Bitgram didn't play again. Guy had a very low score, 35. Tata had a very low score, he was my captain. And Ichikenko didn't play. Marillo only got 42. Champion America 5. Potamis had a quiet week. Wagner only got 30. And I think he was sent off in that, in that match as well. He was my captain, he was sent off. 
45 for Nani. I think he's going to start coming strong again as the season draws to a close. If he did start this match potentially. Um, 34 for Hernandez. Didn't get on the score sheet this time. And Maximilian Morales had a quite a week as well with 50. So no awards unfortunately that week. But I was very, very pleased with the obviously the reward in the previous game week where I won Johnny Russell. That's a fantastic prize. Okay then, let's move on now to my sales and purchases since my last video. So I have made a few purchases and I've also sold the player. So let's have a look now at who I've bought. So here are all my purchases since the last video. So I've finally managed to bag myself another Halhauser, another copy of Halhauser. You, those of you who watched the previous videos, you'll know that I've already got a card for him. But I wanted to get another one for the Global All-Star Division. So he cost me £94, which I thought was pretty decent. Now Demau, I thought was an absolutely fantastic price at just £56. So he was in and out of the team recently, and I think that's probably what's drawn his um, price down. But I think that's because he was potentially looking at there was rumours of him going to International, which is his hometown club. So he's potentially going to move to the Brazilian team, International, and that's maybe why he was in and out of the team recently, and that was potentially because of these um, contract talks that have been ongoing. But it looks like that move has broken down now, and he is going to potentially sign another contract with Kawasaki, which would be absolutely fantastic, and I think that's the more than likely outcome. He's been fantastic in terms of goals this season, I'm sure you're aware. So I managed to snap him up for £56 and he actually scored in the next game that he played. So I think he's going to be uh, regular again for Kawasaki as they approach the end of the season. Kaneko is another one that I picked up for just £14. Stats wise, it looks absolutely fantastic. And I've also picked up Har Haragawa for £26. Now, some of you are probably thinking you've already got a full um, Asian lineup. Um, I did need a forward in my Asian lineup, but the other, my thinking in buying these two Japanese league players, Kaneko and Harakawa, and also, of course, Demao, is because the South Korean league actually concludes soon, but the Japan league still has another month or so left, so it's just going to be the Japanese players competing in the Champion Asia division. So I wanted to keep my squads going in competitions. So I bought some Japanese players just so that I've got a team of five to compete in the Japanese league once the South Korean league finishes. Talking of the South Korean league, I've also signed a fantastic signing that I've been after a while, and that is Sasena. Fantastic player for Digo. I'm sure everyone knows who this guy is. He's scored plenty of goals. He's got a contract till the end of next season with Diego as well, and it got him for an absolutely fantastic price of £155. Now that price, if you look at the market, was absolutely brilliant. I couldn't believe I actually got him at that price. I thought there was going to be a last minute bid coming, as it normally happens. But the price holded, and I managed to get him at the fantastic price there of £155. So I was very pleased with that. Although the South Korean League is potentially coming to an end soon, I'm just planning on using him for the last remaining games and then building up his XP as well in training while until the next season comes round. By then he's going to have some good XP and I'm sure he's going to carry on his fantastic performances from this season. So total spend then was £345 on these players but some fantastic signings there I'm sure you'll agree. So moving on now to my players sold then. So there's only one, one. So there's only one sale this week, and that was Medrin for twenty five pound. So moving on to my squads then. So these are the squad updates. This is the global all star team. Um, only the new sign of Hal Hauser was slotted into the midfield. There he was of course ninety four pound. Still after Gill potentially um, and Bergwis, but I need both of the prices to come down quite a lot before I look to purchase those. I'll potentially lose, use some of my other players that I've got in the other squads to fill that forward slot in the Global All-Star until I can potentially buy a good quality forward. So total spend so far in the Global All-Star is £228. So moving on to the Champion Asia then. Um, as you know, I've made two new signings, three new, four new signings in fact, um, since the last video. Kaneko has slotted into the midfield. Sasina is in the forward slot there. And I've of course got Dimao and Harakawa 
on the subs bench there. So obviously when the South Korean league finishes, Di Mao will probably replace Cecina. And I've also got this Harakawa as a Japanese option as well to slot into one of the midfield slots or one of the defender slots. So got plenty of options there when the South Korea league just does end. So salt spent here is £461 so far on the Champion Asia team. Just a note, I won't be selling any of these players. I know it's near the end of the South Korean League, but I don't tend to sell players because it's approaching the end of the season. What I tend to do is just keep them in my squad. For quality players, then I keep them in my squad, train them up, get more XP, and potentially during the off-season, that's when I look to actually buy some players while they're cheap rather than selling. Okay, so let's move on. So the Champion America team, as you can see, is complete now. Fantastic team here. We've got Johnny Russell who's slotted into the forward slot and he's replaced Yave Hernandez as the main forward. Obviously Hernandez could come into the side if depending on fixtures and injuries and that sort of thing. Also Blanco is an option as well in the midfield category and Ofor is one that I'm going to keep. Train his XP up because I think he has got a bright future and potentially a good card to have once he does start getting first team football. But as you can see, this is a fantastic team. Very pleased with this. Unfortunately, Wagner was sent off in the last match. So I'm potentially not going to have a defender for that game week. So a four might have to slot into the defender category if I do decide to put a Champion America team out. Just so that I've got a team competing in that division. And you never know, a four might come off the bench. We might even get some more minutes, hopefully. So the total cost of this team is only £183, which is absolutely fantastic. Gill, of course, is still on the radar, but it's another one that I want to come down in price. So moving on to the Challenger Europe then. No changes here. This team is done and dusted. As you can see, it's a fantastic team. This cost a total of £432. Pound. All these players are doing all right, really. Um, Halhauser and Lindell need to maybe show a bit more form, but I think that's to do more to do with the teams that they're playing for. But I think those two teams have got the um, the quality to to improve on the results. Bergus is absolutely doing fantastic, and Bruls is one that I'm going to look to eventually sell. Champion Europe, as I've said on previous videos, I'm not really concentrating on the Champion Europe players yet because they are a little bit too expensive, and I want to build up my other lineups first. But this may change because in last week's game week, I, which was game week 206, I actually finished 8th in the Global All-Star, which was absolutely fantastic, in the Division 4 Global All-Star. And I won a Tier 1 card, and that card was Nicolo Zaniolo, which is absolutely fantastic, as I'm sure you're aware. But I am going to look to sell him, so I'm hoping to get over £1,000 for Zaniolo and that would potentially fund this Champion Europe team. So keep your eyes peeled for next week's video because you never know if I do manage to sell Zaniolo I might have some cards to slot into these um, positions here. So let's move on to the under-23s. So as with the Champion Europe team I'm not really getting any under-23 players yet because they are a little bit expensive. But I suppose Ofor could potentially fit into the defender slot but I'm really looking for the best of the best really in terms of the first team squads in these SO5 teams that I'm building. So I've just kept him in the Champion America um, squad there for now and I'm just going to train up his XP as I've said. So I'm now going to move on to my profit and loss. So if anybody saw the last week's video I actually shared the value of my limited card collection so the one month average value of my card collection and I said that I was going to do that at the end of every month but what I've decided to do is update that every single week in this weekly series so that we can see my true profit and loss every single week and see how that changes from week to week. So first of all I'm going to show you on the next slide my full collection my full limited card collection underneath each card you will see the limited card um, average monthly price and also there'll be a total of my full gallery added together as well based on the one month average value so here it is then this is the total one month average value of all the cards in my collection since i've started this series around five weeks ago and the total value of every single card added up 
is £2,110. Now, as you can see, there's some things that stand out here in this um, gallery collection. Bergwus is actually going for around £400. That's the average price over the last month. But yes, it's actually going for more than that at the moment on the auctions. So seeing as average price was 261 over the last month, but I've managed to pick him up for 155 And Johnny Russell was obviously a prize for free, and that's his average price is £95. And Cecina was also a reward that I won, and his average price is £213. But also that I've noticed since adding up all these players, most of the players have actually gone up in value since last week's video. So that's absolutely fantastic to see. So the total value of my collection at this moment in time is £2,110 and this is just my limited card collection. So I'm now going to go on to my profit and loss and see what my total profit and loss figure is taking this figure into account. So this is my total profit and loss of my limited card journey since I started this series five weeks ago. So if we start on the left then, so these are the costs of all my squads that I've just gone through. So the Global All-Star is currently cost me £228. Challenge Europe cost me 432 Asia cost me 461 and America cost me £183. Total cost of that that I've purchased in the players is £1,304. So this number here is ETH from limited card sales and ETH awards. So these are the this is the value of the cards that I've sold to so the limited cards that I've sold is a total of £97. As we know from the previous slide, total value of the limited card collection is £2,110. Value is based on the one month average price. So let's have a look at the figures then and what my true profit and loss is then. So total cost was 1304 ETH wins and sales, which was this figure here, and the value of my current card collection, £2,110. So if we subtract and add all those figures together, that gives me a total profit of £903, which is absolutely fantastic. And that's after five game weeks. And I'm now in a position where I'm able to field around three squads every single game week, which is, of course, twice a week. And potentially with more cards, which is going to increase that value. So I'm very, very pleased with that. And yeah, absolutely fantastic. So before I go, I'll just quickly show you my potential team for the upcoming game week. As you know, it's um, international break at the time of recording. So there's not really many uh, teams that I was able to actually put in that are going to be competing. I think it's actually only one team that I've put in this upcoming game week, which will be game week 208. And this is the team that I've managed to put together. Now, I don't even think they're all playing. Uh, Potemis is potentially playing for Canada, but I'm thinking he's going to be on the bench. Uh, Wagner is away to Cincinnati, but I think he's going to be suspended because he got sent off in the last match. hallhauser has got no game. Bergwis has got an easy game away. So he's my captain and Cecina has got no game there. So I'm not very hopeful of uh, winning any prizes here. So it could be a very, very quiet week. So, But that's my team anyway. Just thought I'd show you that, guys, which I normally do at the end of these videos every week. But I am looking forward to the following week where I should be able to utilise Cecina, Johnny Russell and that sort of players um, and just see how they do, which, of course, are my new signings. So looking forward to that. So that's it for this week, but there is another episode next Friday. So I am changing the days of the videos on this channel. So my videos now will be every Wednesday and Friday, and the weekly series will be every Friday now at 3 o'clock, and the videos now going forward are going to be Wednesday and Fridays. And the limited series is going to be on a Friday. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, and if you've got any thoughts on this on this video, then please drop them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, then please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to ping that notification bell to be alerted about any new videos. You can also follow us now on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and also on Reddit as well now. And also check out our free website, seroassist.com. Links for all this are in the descriptions below. And of course, there's a link in the description below if for some reason you've not signed up to Zora yet. 
You can use that link to sign up today and you get a free limited card after buying any five cards. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.